Captain Zara Kamal surveyed the alien landscape through the viewport, the twin sons of Kepler, 186F casting long, orange shadows across the ochre dunes. Her team, the first humans to set foot on an exoplanet with the potential for life, had been on Kepler, 186F for three weeks, meticulously collecting data and searching for signs of indigenous life. So far, their discoveries had been limited to fascinating rock formations and a diverse ecosystem of microbial life. Today, however, something unexpected would change everything. Zara adjusted the zoom function on her helmet visor, her breath catching in her throat. A figure stood amidst the dunes, its silhouette framed by the setting suns. It was humanoid, bipedal, with two arms and a head, but the similarities ended there. Its skin shimmered with an iridescent sheen, and its eyes, large and luminous, glowed with an unsettling inner light. Zara's heart hammered against her ribs. It was another intelligent being. Panic threatened to overwhelm her, but years of training kicked in. She activated her communicator, her voice trembling slightly as she reported, Houston, we have contact. The response was immediate, a flurry of questions and frantic instructions from mission control. Meanwhile, the figure on the dunes remained still, its gaze fixed on the explorers. Zara, her fear slowly giving way to a profound sense of wonder, took a deep breath and stepped forward. As she approached, the alien being raised a slender hand in what could be interpreted as a gesture of greeting. Its voice, when it spoke, was a melodic series of clicks and whistles, impossible for human ears to decipher. Zara, using the Universal Translator software, responded in kind, a string of carefully chosen phrases designed to convey peace and understanding. The encounter that followed was a clumsy dance of communication. Through gestures, drawings in the sand, and the limited capabilities of the translator, Zara and the alien being, whom she learned was called Zylo, established a fragile connection. They shared basic information about their respective worlds, their cultures, and their hopes for the future. As the suns dipped below the horizon, casting the landscape in an ethereal twilight, Zara knew this was just the beginning. The discovery of Zylo and his people would rewrite the course of human history. It was a daunting prospect, but one filled with boundless possibility. As she looked back at Zylo, a solitary figure silhouetted against the alien sky, Zara felt a surge of hope. They were no longer alone in the universe, and perhaps, through understanding and communication, they could build a future together.